Welcome to AI is Next, today we are gonna discuss New York Times and their new open case with OpenAI. Picture this, the New York Times, one of the giants in journalism, recently put on its armor by updating its rules. They said, hey AI companies, hands off our stuff. The rule now says no more swiping their articles or images to teach AI robots. But guess what? Rumor has it, the Times might be gearing up to give OpenAI a run for its money. That means, they could go to court. And oh boy, that could be a rough one for OpenAI. They could end up paying big bucks, like up to $150,000 for each naughty piece of content they used without permission. Wait, what's OpenAI? Well, they're the ones behind ChatGPT, that cool AI buddy who loves to chat. Now, the buzz is that the Times is having some pretty tense talks with OpenAI about a fancy licensing deal. Basically, it's like a fancy permission slip OpenAI would need to pay for using the Times content. Here's the kicker though, the Times is worried this deal might just create a super smart competitor. Imagine ChatGPT learning so much from the Times that it starts answering questions like a mini Times newspaper. Yikes, right? Now, OpenAI could play the fair use card and say, hey, we didn't mean any harm. But here's the thing, unlike Google Books, where just a taste of books didn't replace the real deal, ChatGPT could potentially replace the Times for some web users. The showdown between the New York Times and OpenAI isn't just a battle of the titans, it's a peek into the future of AI and content ownership. If the Times wins, it could send a powerful message to the AI community, respect our content or face the consequences. For future AI, it means a potential shift in how AI developers gather data. They might need to get creative about getting permission from content creators before using their work. This change could ensure that AI models, like ChatGPT, are built on a more respectful foundation. But there's a twist. If OpenAI comes out on top, it could set a precedent for how AI can learn from the vast sea of online content. It might make it easier for AI to freely gobble up information to become smarter, faster, and more helpful. Either way, this showdown is like a spotlight on a big question, who really owns the digital world's creations? It's not just about the New York Times and OpenAI, it's about every artist, writer, and content creator out there. So, buckle up. The future of AI is headed for a fascinating crossroads where innovation meets responsibility, and the outcomes could reshape the AI landscape for years to come. And get this, the Times isn't taking any chances. They've got a memo going around that's basically a warning to their team, look out for these AI tools. They want to make sure that these smart robots respect their stories, their style, and everything that makes them unique. Oh, and did you hear? The Associated Press app shook hands with OpenAI for a secret deal. And the News Media Alliance? They're like the superheroes of news, laying down the law for AI. They say AI developers need to talk to publishers before using their content for their robot training. So, there you have it, a whirlwind of AI, news, rules, and a dash of courtroom drama. Who knew the digital world could be so exciting? The plot thickens as these giants battle it out to protect their stories in this brave new age of AI. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to show your support as we grow this network. Also make sure to come back for all new AI content and news. Along with daily uploads covering all the new breakthroughs and advancements in the AI industry.